Are you sabotaging your keto journey with too many carbs? It's a common pitfall that many keto dieters face often without even realizing it. Imagine this, you're diligently following a keto diet, swapping bread for avocado and pasta for zucchini noodles. You're making all the right choices, or so you think. You're feeling motivated but the scale isn't budging. Despite your best efforts the weight just isn't coming off as expected. What could be the culprit? It's frustrating to put in the work and not see the results you desire. You might be surprised to learn that hidden carbs could be silently derailing your progress. These sneaky carbs can be found in places you least expect. Yes, even on keto, those sneaky carbs can add up quickly, keeping you from experiencing the full fat-burning benefits of this popular lifestyle. It's not just about the obvious sources of carbs, but the hidden ones too. But don't worry, understanding how many carbs you can eat on keto is the key to unlocking your body's fat-burning potential. Knowledge is power and with the right information, you can stay on track. In this comprehensive guide, we'll delve into the science behind ketosis, explore the ideal carb intake, and equip you with practical strategies to maintain a healthy and sustainable keto lifestyle. We'll cover everything from meal planning to reading nutrition labels effectively. Get ready to finally break free from carb confusion and embark on a journey towards a healthier, more energized you. Let's dive in. With the right tools and knowledge, you can achieve your keto goals and enjoy the benefits of this powerful lifestyle. Keto 101, unlocking the power of fat burning. Before we unravel the mystery of carb limits, let's establish a clear understanding of what keto is all about. The ketogenic diet, often referred to simply as keto, has gained immense popularity for its potential to transform the way our bodies utilize energy. Essentially, the ketogenic diet is a high-fat, moderate protein and very low-carb way of eating. This means that the majority of your daily caloric intake comes from fats with a moderate amount of protein and a minimal amount of carbohydrates. By drastically reducing carbohydrates, you force your body to shift its primary fuel source from glucose, derived from carbs, to ketones. This shift is crucial because it changes the way your body generates energy. Ketones are produced by your liver from stored fat when glucose is in short supply. This process is known as ketogenesis, and it is the cornerstone of the ketogenic diet. This metabolic state known as ketosis transforms your body into a fat-burning machine. When in ketosis, your body becomes highly efficient at burning fat for energy, which can lead to significant weight loss and other health benefits. Instead of relying on readily available glucose from carbohydrates, your body taps into its fat reserves, providing a sustained source of energy. This not only helps in weight management, but also ensures a steady energy supply throughout the day. This metabolic switch brings about a cascade of positive changes including improved blood sugar control, reduced inflammation, and enhanced mental clarity. Many people report feeling more focused and energetic when they are in ketosis. However, maintaining this fat-burning state hinges on one crucial factor, keeping your carb intake in check. Monitoring your carbohydrate consumption is essential to stay in ketosis and continue reaping the benefits of this powerful metabolic state. The Carb Threshold Finding your keto sweet spot So, what's the magic number when it comes to carbs on keto? While individual needs may vary, the general consensus is to keep your daily net carb intake below 50 grams, and ideally, between 20 and 30 grams. Net carbs refer to the total carbohydrates in a food minus its fiber content. Why focus on net carbs? Because fiber is a type of carbohydrate that your body can't digest or absorb, meaning it doesn't contribute to your daily carb count or impact ketosis. Staying within this carb range helps most individuals achieve and maintain ketosis. However, it's important to remember that everyone's body responds differently to dietary changes. Some people may need to restrict carbs even further to enter ketosis while others might have a bit more wiggle room. Decoding Carbs Net Carbs versus Total Carbs now let's break down the difference between net carbs and total carbs with a simple example. Imagine you're enjoying a cup of raspberries. One cup contains about 15 grams of total carbohydrates. However, raspberries are also a good source of fiber, providing around 8 grams per cup. To calculate the net carbs, you subtract the fiber content from the total carbs. 15 grams total carbs minus 8 grams fiber equals 7 grams net carbs. This means that you'd only count 7 grams of net carbs towards your daily limit, not 15. Understanding this distinction is crucial for accurately tracking your carb intake and staying within your keto goals. Navigating the carb maze real-life examples from my kitchen. 
let's take a look at some popular keto-friendly foods and how their carb content stacks up. Avocado. One whole avocado contains about 12 grams of total carbs and 10 grams of fiber, resulting in only 2 grams of net carbs. Eggs. A large egg contains less than 1 gram of carbs, making it a keto superstar. Broccoli. One cup of chopped broccoli has about 6 grams of total carbs and 2 grams of fiber, leaving you with 4 grams of net carbs. As you can see, even seemingly carb-heavy vegetables like broccoli can easily fit into a ketogenic lifestyle when you consider their net carb content. Keto on the go-carb control for busy lifestyles. We live in a fast-paced world, and finding time for meal prep isn't always easy. However, that doesn't mean your keto goals have to fall by the wayside. Here are a few practical tips for staying on track, even with a hectic schedule. Plan ahead. Spend a couple of hours on the weekend prepping keto-friendly meals and snacks for the week. Embrace convenience foods. Stock up on healthy keto-friendly snacks like nuts, seeds, and hard-boiled eggs. Make smart swaps. Ditch the bread at restaurants and opt for a side salad or extra veggies. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to keto. By incorporating these simple strategies, you can stay on top of your carb intake and maintain ketosis even amidst a busy lifestyle. Carb Cycling Can you have your keto cake and eat it too? Carb cycling is an advanced keto strategy that involves strategically increasing your carb intake on certain days of the week while maintaining a low carb intake on others. This approach can help prevent plateaus, replenish glycogen stores, the body's stored form of glucose, and even enhance athletic performance. However, it's important to note that carb cycling is not for everyone, especially those new to the ketogenic diet. If you're considering incorporating carb cycling into your routine, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to determine if it's right for you. The importance of listening to your body. While tracking carbs is undoubtedly important on a keto diet, it's just as crucial to pay attention to your body's signals. Everyone responds to dietary changes differently, and what works for one person may not work for another. Tune in to how your body feels on different levels of carb intake. Are you experiencing increased energy levels, improved mental clarity, and steady weight loss? Or are you feeling sluggish, experiencing cravings, and noticing fluctuations in your weight? Your body provides valuable feedback. By listening to its cues, you can fine-tune your carb intake and optimize your keto journey for sustainable success. Troubleshooting your keto diet can be a daunting task, but it's essential for long-term success. Experiencing challenges on your keto journey is completely normal. Everyone faces obstacles and it's important to know you're not alone. Here are a few common roadblocks and solutions to help you stay on track. First up, Keto Flu. Feeling under the weather during the initial stages of keto is common. This is often referred to as the keto flu. Electrolyte imbalances often contribute to these flu-like symptoms, making you feel lethargic and unwell. Replenishing electrolytes through bone broth, electrolyte supplements, or mineral-rich foods can help alleviate discomfort. Make sure to stay hydrated and consume enough sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Weight loss plateaus. Hitting a weight loss plateau is common and can be very frustrating. Factors like stress, lack of sleep, and hidden carbs can stall progress. Assess your stress levels, prioritize sleep, and double-check your food labels to ensure you're not accidentally consuming hidden carbs. Sometimes even small amounts can make a big difference. Intense cravings. Sugar cravings can be intense, especially in the beginning. These cravings can derail your progress if not managed properly. Combat these cravings with healthy keto-friendly alternatives like dark chocolate, at least 70% cacao, berries with whipped cream, or a keto-friendly dessert. These options can satisfy your sweet tooth without kicking you out of ketosis. Remember, setbacks are a part of the journey. It's important to stay positive and keep pushing forward. By addressing these challenges head-on, you can stay motivated and achieve your health goals. Celebrate your small victories along the way and keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Ready to take control of your carb intake? Embarking on a ketogenic journey can be transformative, but it requires a clear understanding of how many carbs you can consume to maintain ketosis. By following the guidelines outlined in this guide, you can confidently navigate the world of low-carb living and experience the full spectrum of benefits this lifestyle offers. Remember, knowledge is power. Equip yourself with the tools and information needed to make informed decisions about your carb intake, and you'll be well on your way to achieving optimal health and well-being. Join the Keto Conversation. Now, I want to hear from you. What are your biggest challenges when it comes to managing your carb intake on keto? 
Let's start a conversation and support each other on this exciting journey towards optimal health. Share your thoughts, questions, and experiences in the comments below.